Katrina bears down on the Mississippi Delta. Stay with us for the latest in-depth analysis, live reports from the field, weather experts, meteorologists, and hurricane hunters telling you what's happening, why it's happening, and what's next. The Weather Channel, Hurricane Central. The Weather Channel, Hurricane Central. Coming up, the latest on Katrina. But now, you're local on the 8th. Go ahead and give you the very latest on Hurricane Katrina. The tornado watch in effect for New Orleans until noon, noon today. We have a tornado warning in effect for Harrison County here in Mississippi. And it looks like it does include or real close to the Biloxi area. So you guys, anywhere between Slidell and Biloxi, need to take cover now. Interior room, lowest level of your home, and of course, stay away from the windows. Tornadoes often do occur from landfalling hurricanes. You're likely to hear us talk about tornado warnings throughout the morning hours. From Louisiana to Florida, coastal residents are bracing for the fury of Hurricane Katrina. And ABC's Darren Lynn is in Mobile, Alabama. He joins us now. And Darren, what effects are you seeing right now from the storm? We're not seeing much here in Mobile, Alabama right now. We're about four miles from Mobile Bay. The rain has started to come down not very hard. The winds barely any right now. But as you've been mentioning, Katrina has been downgraded to a Category 4. Wind speed sustained at 155 miles an hour. She's been a Category 5 much of her time in the Gulf, and believe me, folks are taking her seriously. The mass exodus continues, bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. More than a million people fleeing the Gulf Coast, clogging the highways in all directions. In New Orleans, there's a mandatory evacuation. You have an obligation to yourself and your family to haul ass and get out of here. And I'm telling you, get out now. Hurricane Katrina is barreling towards what seems like its bullseye, New Orleans. The Category 5 hurricane is packing sustained winds of 160 miles per hour with wind gusts over 200 miles an hour. We can pray very hard that the intensity will weaken. Nearly 100,000 people in New Orleans remain in shelters because they're either too poor, too sick, or too elderly to leave. This is my first time in a shelter, actually, you know what I'm saying? Because right? I ain't never been in one this serious before. The Superdome has been converted into a shelter of last resort. We are facing a storm. Uh, that most of us have feared. The National Hurricane Center says New Orleans may never be the same again if Katrina makes a direct strike as a Category 5. 
We're about 120 miles east of New Orleans here in Mobile, Alabama. And if Katrina lands as a Category 4 in New Orleans, we're expected here, 120 miles away, to have wind speeds between 75 and 100 miles an hour, storm surges possibly as high as 15 feet, and almost 15 inches of rain are expected. I'm Darren Lynn reporting live for the Weather Channel. Now back to you. All right, thanks, Darren. As Darren mentioned, it's widespread effects uh, of hurricane force winds. As a matter of fact, we're already seeing hurricane force wind gusts in the New Orleans area, despite the fact that the eye wall is still over an hour away. That's right. And, you know, the airport closed early yesterday, Jen. You anticipate any other closures outside of the Gulf Coast today? At the airport to watch, I think, would be Jackson, Mississippi, okay. the potential for closures as the track of Katrina continues to take it northward. We will see tropical storm and potentially hurricane force winds in that region. So let's show you which airports we do have closed right now. Of course, travel is impossible into New Orleans. Uh, it's, it's unneeded. It's unnecessary. Or New Orleans International is closed at the airport there. The Gulfport Biloxi Airport is closed and the Mobile Airport is closed as well. Both airports actually in the Mobile area. Now Jackson, Mississippi today keeping tabs on that. Birmingham watching for delays and cancellations likely and then later today into tonight Nashville experiencing lengthy delays and the potential for some cancellations as well and of course the airlines have to get their planes in the right places and none of them are in the New Orleans area. So uh, making sure that they can get their planes where they need to be to get folks out. Let's show you what we have going on on the roads right now. I want to focus on travel. And of course, we've been talking about the widespread impacts to travel from this storm. And in fact, all along Interstate 10, where we're seeing showers continuing to move on in, even to the east of Mobile, it is going to be difficult for travel here today. And right along the coast here, we are looking at potential of flooding here all along the coast. This is areas affected by Ivan and then by Dennis just a month earlier. And now we're looking at the potential for flooding here. And there have been some mandatory evacuations in some of the low-lying areas around Cape San Blas and St. George Island. So watching the rain come down, New Orleans, the winds gusting here to hurricane force and continuing to intensify. Watching the extent of the rain now up to Jackson with some rain being reported in the observation. The forecast for today, we're going to continue to watch the corridor of rain head northward. Interstates 55 and 65 and in between is what we will continue to watch uh, for the potential of difficult travel. In some cases, flooding will be likely here, especially in southwestern parts of Alabama and then I-65 right up through the Nashville area. Northeast, we'll quickly tell you that we will have some showers here today as well. Kim and Nick. Heavy rain, strong winds, Louisiana already seeing some of the effects of Katrina. Waves are running high and wind is whipping them on the waterway surrounding New Orleans ahead the impact this powerful storm will have on weather for the week to come. This program is brought to you by Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you.